Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing something pretty simple on the car. We're going to be taking out the mass airflow sensor and giving it a bit of a clean. Now I don't have a standard air box for my car, but it should be somewhere between your air box and your throttle body if you're trying to find it on your own car. Mine's just held in by these peg clamps, hose clamps. So I'm just going to loosen those off, pull it out, disconnect the wiring here, and then take it over to the bench. Now when you take out this clip, make sure you put your thumb over it because it will go flying if you just pull it off and put that off the side and keep it. Pull that out and there you have your mass airflow sensor pulled out. Now let's get this over to the bench and take a closer look at it. Okay, so now that we have it out take a closer look at it here. It's got a fairly large screen here in the front and then it's got some interesting profiles in the back. You can see from the arrow right here that's the direction of airflow. So this is your front. This is where the airbox goes and this one goes towards the throttle body. And if you look closely inside of there, I don't know how well you can see this. That little filament inside there, that is the actual airflow sensor. That is what we're going to be cleaning up. So to do that, I got this sensor clean which is made for mass airflow sensor cleaning and it says to put the straw on it and give about 10 to 15 sprays of the clean onto the hot wires or hot plates. Spray all sides of the mass airflow sensor, including all wires and connectors. So let's do that. I get right down in there and give it a good spray. Okay, now let's let that sit for a bit and evaporate off. As you can see it's pretty wet in there, but it says it should evaporate out. Let that sit and 
come back when it's done. Okay, so it's nice and dry again. And about to put it back into the car. Keep in mind which way the arrow is facing, that's your direction of airflow. So I want the arrow pointing towards the engine, not towards the filter. So this is the correct way to put it in here. And let's go and throw it in. Don't forget this little retaining clip. Throw that in there too. And all done. Now all you have to do is fire up the car and make sure you don't get any check engine lights or anything coming up. Okay, moment of truth. Let's fire it up and see what happens here. No check engine light. Seems to be running pretty good here. Okay, I'd say that's uh, pretty good.